through parts of northwest England, Wales, West Midlands. Still, there's one or two showers associated with that and blustery with showers in the far north of Scotland. Elsewhere, dry with clear spells and mid to low teens for the temperature. Now, the weekend offers a lot of dry weather and sunny spells. Then another weak weather front running into Northern Ireland, Northern and Western Scotland may produce some patchy rain, more especially in northwest Scotland on Saturday. Very warm, we have the sunshine. And then for parts of England and Wales, as temperatures head up on Sunday, a heat wave begins. This is BBC News, I'm Martine Cropsall. The latest headlines at three. Durham Police clear Sir Keir Starmer of breaking lockdown rules. He had pledged to resign if he were fined. The Labour leader says that his party is now ready for an election. If there was a general election, this government will fall and we've got a plan for the country. We want that fresh start. Are you going to be the next Prime Minister? The battle to replace Boris Johnson as Conservative Party leader begins. Some MPs remain tight-lipped over whether they'll join the race or not. Britain's former counter-terrorism police chief, Sir Mark Rowley, is formally appointed as the new head of the Metropolitan Police in the wake of a string of failings which have compromised public trust. Tributes pour in from around the world for Japan's former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, who's been assassinated while delivering a speech at a campaign event. Coming up in sport, the biggest match of his career, Britain's Cameron Norrie is about to battle it out against the 20-time Grand Slam champion Novak Djokovic for a place in Sunday's men's Wimbledon final. Good afternoon and welcome to BBC News. Durham Police have announced that the Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer and his deputy 